Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm so excited to be bringing you an entire eyeshadow palette review from Viseart. This is my first time getting Viseart palettes and I actually got five, which I'm so excited about because I usually don't get so many things all at once from the same brand, but I wanted to do a full brand review and was really excited about this. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The reason why I wanted to get these palettes is because Viseart as a brand has been really intriguing to me. They started out as a makeup artist pro makeup brand, but recently they've been kind of diving into the consumer sector, which is similar to brands like Pat McGrath, like Natasha Denona, where you can see their older palettes are very expensive, like $300 each. And their newer palettes, which are sold at Sephora and across a whole bunch of websites, are much less expensive, like $60, $50, things like that, which makes a lot more sense to the everyday consumer. So I wanted to pick up not only the pro palettes from Viseart, but also the newer, more consumer palettes. One of the reasons why I was so excited to get these palettes in the first place is because I am really intrigued by these pro makeup brands who are just now starting to dabble in the consumer space. I literally think it's so exciting. I absolutely love the trend. I hope that all the pro brands start doing this because from what I've found so far, and I'm gonna show you all these swatches, these products are beautiful. They're absolutely amazing. Now I did pick up some of the pro formula and also some of the consumer formula. So you're gonna get to see a bit of both and you're gonna get my review on both. One of the coolest things that I didn't even realize about Viseart is that all the pans detach. They all come out so easily. It's not like Natasha Denona where you need a D-pan tool and you need to really work at it and you can destroy the eyeshadow if you're not careful. Viseart literally creates a tiny groove in the eyeshadow palette itself across every single size. So you can mix and match, you can create your own perfect palette. I'm so excited to do that. One thing I will note is that the Pro palettes have a bigger pan size, so you obviously can't swap those in and out with the consumer pan size, which is much smaller. So I got a whole bunch of the consumer pan size and one Pro size. I will not be able to de-pan my Pro palette. I'm only gonna be able to work with the smaller palette, but you'll see what I end up coming up with, and I'm really excited to do that, because when I was starting to play with these, I was just thinking in my head, oh my gosh, I can make the perfect palette for myself out of this. So I'm really excited. Let's jump into the review and the swatches. Let's start by looking at these little quad palettes. These are called the Petit Four. They are $22 each, and they come in these really, really cute little square packages. All of the casual Viseart eyeshadow palettes, so the ones that aren't super expensive, the non-pro formula, do come in this cardboard packaging that has kind of a wraparound design. So you pull the tab and it unwraps like that, and they're very cool. These little fours do not have a mirror inside, I will note. So this first one that I'm gonna show you here is called Praline. It is the most neutral brown of all four. I have three of them, but there are four in this line. And you can see that there's a really beautiful shimmering champagne color. Next to it, there's a nice satin medium brown. There's also a gorgeous shimmering bronze. Now I think that a really good bronze is hard to come by and this is absolutely amazing. And the last shade in here is a neutral matte chocolate brown. I do think it's hard to get a matte chocolatey brown that's just really not too warm, not too cold. I'm actually surprised that this is the praline palette because the next palette I'm going to show you is called the chocolate palette. And the chocolate palette just seems, you know, much less chocolatey than this one. To me, this is a perfect chocolatey palette. Anyway, it's called praline. I absolutely love it. And I actually have this color right here on my eyelids today. This next one that I've got right here, this one's called Chocolat, which I actually find very interesting because it's a much warmer palette, you can see. You've actually got this really kind of rusty red color, which is very interesting with a bit of a silver and gold shimmer in it, very beautiful. You have this very warm crease color. I love putting this in my crease. It's very easy to use. All these shades really blend easily. Over here in this corner, you have an almost pinkish champagne. There's definitely a pinky hue to it. And finally, a very warm, almost ruddy matte brown. This one I find a little bit tricky to work with. I find that it stains my eyelid a tiny bit, so I'm careful with that, but around the lash line, it's very beautiful. The last Petit Four quad that I have is called Framboise, and it is this gorgeous pink color on the outside. And inside, you can see it is delicious. I don't even have another word to use for it. There's an amazing light matte, which I think is a very important shadow to have. You've also got this shimmering pink with silver reflex, which is so nice for the inner corner. There's a really beautiful, true kind of mauve pink. It's matte, it's very easy to use. I have it underneath my eyelash line right now. I love that. And in this corner, there's a pink, really sort of chunky, glittery look, dark pink. 
Within the kind of normal consumer focused eyeshadows that I'm talking about right now, the largest palette that Viseart does have is called their Etendue palette. This one is called Mink Set, which I think is so cute because it's like a minx, like a little cat, and the outside has like almost a cat like shine to it. Like there's those leopard spots, which I just am obsessed with leopards and animals. It has the same cardboard opening, but this one actually does have a mirror in it, which is so great. I'm weird about taking off the plastic on my mirrors, I like to preserve them for some reason but there's a nice big mirror in this, which is so pretty. We have a nice neutral tan matte. Then there's a shimmering light beige with silver reflex. I noticed that a lot of these shadows do have a silvery reflex to it rather than a golden reflex or a pink. Any kind of shimmery is more on the silver side, so even the warm tones do run kind of cool because in the light they sort of shine silver, which is a very cool tone. You have, this here is my favorite matte color ever. It's just the most flattering matte. There's a lot of pigment. A little goes a long way. Sometimes when you see a color like this in another eyeshadow formula, you can put it all over your eye and it kind of disappears. This one literally goes a mile a minute. You have to be very careful with that. There's an orangey red matte color up in the top corner that I just haven't experimented with. I've been a little bit less excited about those really warm tones recently and I've been skewing more neutral, which I just think is more flattering. Not to mention that we've all had so many warm toned eyeshadow palettes just kind of thrown at us for so long. The next row here, we have a much warmer chocolatey brown. It's not nearly as neutral as the one in the first palette praline that I showed you, but it's very beautiful, followed by a true orange shimmery satin. It's so nice. Again, the pigmentation on these is beautiful. I can't believe it. It's shocking the price. You'd think that these would be so much more expensive, but they're really not. It's amazing. After that, you have a really beautiful and unique satin color that's sort of halfway between neutral and pink. It's definitely sort of as far pink as I would want to go on a satin these days. It's very beautiful and very wearable, followed by a light pink with a little bit of a sheen to it. Not a true satin, not a real shimmer, but just a very nice wearable pink. I have this on the outer corner just to kind of brighten up my eyelid right now. In the bottom corner, we do have a deep, purple matte. This is not the kind of shadow that I would go for usually. I might put it on top of eyeliner, but I haven't used it yet. And I'm just usually not totally drawn towards those very dark tones, but that is in here so you can deepen up a look, which I know a lot of people are very concerned about deepening up a look. Next to that is a shimmering purple, same category for me. It's not something that I reach for, but it is there if you're interested in a darker, more smoky vibe. And the last color in here is almost a bricky, orangey, satiny with a bit of shimmer. A lot of the satins do have shimmer. They kind of cross over, which I think is very beautiful in this particular palette. Now, it wouldn't be a true Viseart review if I didn't at least review one of the pro palettes. Now, one of the big differences is the packaging. You saw that in all those other palettes, it's a thinner package, it's cardboard, it's light. These packages on, on all the pro eyeshadows are heavy, they're plastic, and they have a completely clear front, which I think is very important if you are a professional makeup artist, which I am not. But if you were, it's very important because you can see at a glance exactly what is inside your eyeshadow palette. And I actually love the packaging on this. Some people say, oh, it seems like almost cheap because it's just plastic with a clear top, but I'm like, I don't need a mirror in there. This is, it feels so good. It's got a nice weight to it. This feels very professional, the way that it clicks closed and clicks open. There's sort of no effort there. I don't know how to describe it. It's very well done. And these particular pans are actually much bigger. I didn't realize it online how much bigger these would be. As you can see here, there's a huge size difference between the pans. These pans are also much shallower and these are very, very thick, very deep, but that way you can see there is a big difference. This particular shape, which has 12 eyeshadows in it, is called the Slim Pro. This particular one is the 06 Paris Edit, and all the Slim Pro palettes are either all satin or all matte. There's nothing in between. There's no mixed palettes, which I think is very interesting. So this is an entirely satin palette. And one thing that I found interesting is that the pigmentation on this is very different than in the small ones. These ones are very sheer. If you can imagine that kind of runway eye that is sort of glistening, almost like it's wet, very beautiful, there's a wash of color all over, that's the effect that this gives. And I wasn't sure what I was getting into, I hadn't seen many reviews on it, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's a washed tone, it's not too thick, it's very easy to work with as a beginner. Without a base, they faded quite quickly. Within an hour or two, I saw maybe 50% had faded away, and by the end of the day, it was almost completely faded away. But don't let that deter you, because with a good base, in fact, Viseart sells a base that I know is really good, but even the Too Faced Shadow Insurance will do the trick and these last all day and they are so beautiful. So I'm so excited to take you through. In this corner here, there's a light pink, 
followed by a beautiful yellowy, not champagne, it definitely pulls a little bit golden. This one is the most shimmery in the palette. It's like a very, very light shimmery color. I actually think it's beautiful under the brow bone if you're into having a bit of sparkle there, which recently I am. I think that sparkle is a good thing. If you're not putting sparkle on your eyes, it's too boring, you only live once, put a little sparkle on. You've got a nice neutral purpley color. This last one here is actually a little bit matte, so I think it's amazing. You've got a crease color in there that you can use, so all these other shadows can be used on the lid, and this last one on the edge of the middle row can be used as your perfect crease color. I think that was so smart that they put that in there. There's almost no satin, almost no sparkle in there, although it's not a true matte, but it's pretty close. In the last row, you have a beautiful purple, again, with a bit of a bluish silvery reflect, a nice neutral gray, which I actually think is so flattering on the entire eyelid, another one and done shadow. I just love this, it's so easy to use. You've got a dark, almost grayish, dark, dark brown shimmer right here. I wouldn't put this all over my lid personally, but it would be beautiful if you wanted to. And finally, a midnight blue, which I think is so beautiful all along the lash line, along the lower lashes. It's just incredible. That's it for this particular palette. I don't have any more of the Pro palettes, so I can't rearrange this one, but if I did, I think I might pick up a few more because I'm just so excited by the idea that you can pop out these pans so easily and just create a perfect palette. So I'm about to show you exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to popping out those pans and just getting really creative with it. So without further ado, I'm gonna just dive into this new palette and I'm gonna create my own perfect pan using that Mink Set palette and my Little Petit Four. And so let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take out all the eyeshadows first and then I'm gonna slowly put them back in together. I'm probably not gonna to include too many of those really deep tones. I know what I like. I like a bit of a neutral eye, which is also why that Pro Paris Edit is perfect for me because there's so many light wash neutrals but I just want something that is gonna be every day for me. Honestly, the quality of these is amazing. I'm so impressed that this is gonna be my perfect everyday eyeshadow palette. That is the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it if you made it this far. Like, comment, subscribe. All of that means so much to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.